Unveiling the Heart, the Art of Bearing One's Soul. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's lesson on a very special English phrase, bearing one's soul. This expression is not only beautiful but also deeply meaningful. It's a phrase that touches on emotions, vulnerability, and the human experience. Today, we're going to explore what it means, how to use it, and why it's important in English communication. So, let's dive in and uncover the layers of this fascinating expression. Bearing one's soul is a phrase that speaks volumes about emotional openness. To bear something means to carry or to hold up. However, in this context, it takes on a more figurative meaning. Soul, on the other hand, represents a person's deepest thoughts, feelings, or essence. When combined, to bear one's soul means to open up deeply, sharing your most private thoughts, feelings, or experiences with someone else. It's an act of vulnerability and trust, where one exposes the truest part of themselves to another. This phrase is used in situations that involve deep emotional exchanges or moments of vulnerability. It's not about everyday worries but rather the profound experiences or feelings that shape who we are. You might bear your soul to a close friend, a family member, or a partner, sharing fears, dreams, or even past traumas. For example, you could say, Last night, we sat under the stars, and I found myself bearing my soul to her, to express a moment of deep connection and openness. It's important to use this phrase in contexts that deserve its weight, as it implies a significant emotional disclosure. Bearing your soul can be therapeutic and a critical step towards forming deeper connections with others. It's a sign of trust and emotional intimacy. When someone bears their soul, it allows for a greater understanding and empathy between people. It breaks down walls and can be the foundation of lasting relationships. However, it also requires courage and the right environment of acceptance and support. In conclusion, bearing one's soul is a powerful expression that goes beyond mere words. It's about opening up the deepest parts of oneself, fostering connections that are built on trust, understanding, and mutual respect. We hope this exploration helps you appreciate the beauty and depth of English expressions and encourages you to embrace vulnerability in your relationships. Remember, sharing your soul is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to the strength of the human spirit. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.